Hi and welcome back to Free View Hub. Today we learn how can we launch man in the middle attack. Today my target is Windows 11 and the machine through which I'll be launching attack is Kali Linux. Now I'm using both machines in a closed environment which is VMware Workstation version 17. I'm using Kali version 2023 which is the latest release and Windows 11. Now please note that this is an educational course. Whatever we are teaching in this course is purely for academic purposes. Kindly don't try it on internet or on any other network for which you don't have written permission to test these man in the middle attacks or anything like that. So as you can see, uh, this is my Windows 11 and on my left hand side, I have my Kali Linux window. First of all, I'll open the terminal window and this one, make sure that you are on the root access. So we'll type sudo and then su so that we are logged in as a uh, super user, uh, which is the root account on our Windows 11 machine. If we want to find out the IP address of this one, we'll type in IP config and we can see the IP address of it is 129 as I told you and for our uh, Kali Linux we'll type if config and you can see that this is um, the IP address is 128 for this one which is mentioned over here so both machines are on the same network and both can see each other now if you want to verify it go to Windows 11 and type 192.168.1 189.128 and you are able to ping this Kali Linux virtual machine. So uh, now I'll show you that how can we actually launch the uh, man in the middle attack. For that we'll be using a tool in Kali Linux um, uh, which is called Ethercap. So we'll type in um, Ethercap over here and uh, um, press minus G in front of it so that it would open the graphical user interface of it like this. If uh, uh, in some of the older versions you'll find it over here listed so if you can find it from here you can open it but make sure that you are going for the graphical user interface of it. Now once that's done uh, we'll maximize it and it is showing that which interface you are using. I'm using interface which is my Ethernet port. If you are using a wireless LAN adapter, it would be listed over here. Since I'm uh, going to launch an attack on my LAN, which is the computers which are connected between me and the router. So what happens in man in the middle attack is like since all the other computers which are there on the same network they are connected through one router so the router would have the same um, default gateway for all machines on the network so we'll try to find out first of all that how many uh, computers are there on the network uh, will not change anything so if you're satisfied with the settings press this accept button so that now it is starting ethercap now you want to see that how many PCs are there on the same network. So in order to scan them, press on this button for the magnifying glass and it's scanning all the machines which are there on the same network. And as you can see, it has identified that there are four machines. We'll try to scan it again. Maybe we'll see more machines over here. But since uh, it is a virtual environment, uh, these are the only machines which are available on the network. And if you want to see the details of those machines, you'll click on this button and you'll be able to see the machines which are there on the network. Now this one, which is the first IP address, is the default gateway of our router. So we can see that this is our actual router. Then we have a machine 2 and 129. As you can see, I showed you in the starting of the tutorial that if we are trying IP config uh, on this one, uh, we can see that the IP address is 129, which is the same one which is mentioned over here. So since in man in the middle attack, you want to capture the communication which is taking place between point A and point B. So let's say that point A is our router. So if I'll select this one and I'll add it to the target, now that is added as a target which is my router and now I want to target this Windows 11 machine which is right over here so I'll add it uh, to the target number 2. Now it would show that it had added the target number 1 which is the router and tar target number 2 which is our Windows 11 machine. Once that's done you launch the attack by clicking on this button man in the middle menu and from this one you'll select the option as our poisoning 
now it would ask you the options just press ok over here and now it has started poisoning um, the uh, both machines so that now this Kali Linux window is sitting in between the router and Windows 11 machine now how can we find out that it is actually capturing the traffic which is taking place or the traffic which is being transferred between our Windows 11 and the router is we'll open the terminal window and uh, that's the terminal window that we have over here and uh, let's try to open another one here and uh, uh, type to type sudo su make sure that you are logged in as a power user and then I'll type in URL S N A R F. Um, sometimes it happens that if it is not installed on your PC, it would ask you to install. So that's a simple procedure. You can install it. Then I'll say the interface minus I. And then since in our case it was Ethernet port 0, and I'll press enter. Now it's listening the port which is 80, 80, 80 or port 3128 and if for example i am going on internet from my windows 11 machine and if i'll go to www.go.com you can see that the traffic would be generated on windows 11 would be shown on my kali linux so i can capture all the information about my target the websites that he is accessing different protocols if he has passed any username and password in clear text format you can capture that through an end map so it takes you in between the windows 11 machine and the router so that you can intercept all the traffic so if you want to stop the attack once you have checked and you have captured the packets in between you'll go to this button and click on stop man in the middle and that would stop the man in the middle attack so that's a basic tutorial on how can you launch man in the middle attack on a normal network environment so that's it for today thank you very much